Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a brand new ASUS laptop. This is an ASUS VivoBook Go, the model for this specific one is a 15, but they try to save on a sticker so they put 14 and 15 so they can print the same sticker for a version of the 14 or 15 inch screen. But this one is a 15 inch and the exact model for this one is an E1504G. Now this one comes with an 8 gig RAM, a 256 gig SSD and pretty much i core 3 CPU. I get a lot of questions asked like can I upgrade the RAM in this one and I keep saying it in the uh, comments that you cannot upgrade the RAM but the RAMs are soldered on the board and the discussion goes into that in the task manager it says that it's one out of two though that means I have another slot should be available in there. No, there is no other second slot. There's a miscommunication between the windows and the bios chip and the bios chip is sending a false information to the window saying that there's a two ram beam available even if they sh there was they could be have a two of them solid on the board then it's acceptable but in this case there's only one ram and running a single channel i'm going to open up the laptop for you guys so you guys can see and so you guys believe me that there is no other second ram beam in here and if there is a chance for upgrade, I'll explain that, but it's not something that you guys can do at home. All right, first thing first, I'm gonna power it off, flip it upside down, grab a screwdriver set. I'll use the iFix screwdriver set, and from this tool set, I'll be using a Phillips number zero. I think number one will do it too, so let's go with number one, let's see if it's more snugly in there. Yeah, number zero, number one, I mean. You're gonna remove all the screws, and the screw in the back made, this is the longest screw, so keep that one in a separate pile so you don't mismatch them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. And do these videos for you guys because there's no reason for me to open it. I'm doing it for you guys because you guys keep asking me to show us. All right, now that I removed all the screws, the short screws and one single long screws right there. I'll be using a guitar pick for the opening tool. And you want to stick the guitar pick between the bottom cover and the palm rest. And then you just want to twist it, twist it like this, pull it around. Then you're going to see a gap opening in there. You want to hear those click sounds, those are the clips are getting loosened up. Do this all around on the front to the side. And bring it to the back corner. You need to budge it in there. And it will get released itself. There we go. On the left and right side. And I can bring it out, wiggle it around like this, and it will release the tiny clips. And there we have it inside the laptop. Right away, we can see the battery right in here, the Wi Fi board, and there's a CPU with a heat pipe. Uh, they at least give you a fan intake, and it blows under the screen. And there's the storage for the SSD right in here, it's a Samsung brand 256 gig. And the RAMs are right here one, two, three, four. There's a four RAM blocks in here, and there's no other space on the other side of the motherboard, it's just sitting flush with the base of the metal cover right in there. So there's no RAM chibi spot slots available in here or to place a RAM in here. What the RAM will look like. These are the actual RAM size, so there's no way you can fit it under there or you can do it with it. You could take it to a good technician. We do it for our clients. You can do something called a revolving. Remove the RAM chip with a solder heat gun and get a higher capacity RAM chip and solder them on top, on the board. That's one thing you can do, but physically at home to just plug and replace the RAM, you can't. And removing these ones are risky, it's not anybody can shoot to it. So you need an experienced technician to in order to be able to remove the RAM chips and solder back in uh, good ones. If you do a bad job of soldering, you're going to get a crash, a Windows crash, a system crash, a blue screen very often all right and that's it 
put the cover back on, just bring it right over and push down the corners right there and make sure you hit those nice big click sounds on the back on the corners and to finish it off you want to put the bottom screws all over the place remember the longest screw goes to the mid back and that should cover up today's video again i hope you guys like this video and it helps you guys to understand why you can't upgrade your ram for your asus vivo book 15. if you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.